Om Shanti, welcome back. We are back in Darjeeling at beautiful weather and it's been nice and cloudy and very foggy over here, enjoying the weather. And yet we are not going to leave our God's blessing. Even though I was traveling in the train, couldn't do the recording, but we're going back to 23rd of August and getting back to our blessing days. So what does Supreme Father have to say regarding strength and having tirelessness in our life? Let's have a look at that which was told by Godfather in yesterday's blessing. So Father says, May you be constantly strong and tireless and continue to fly and make others also fly with the wings of zeal and enthusiasm. What does that exactly mean? You souls are instruments, he says. You souls are instruments to make many souls fly. Now flying means people in today's world are popped down pulled down by stress and the main things which are going on in people's mind is either about the past, why it happened to me or why it's happening to me now and what will happen to me in the future and what's going to happen to my family in the future. And these are the questions which people are asking and God says when you remove these questions from their mind, they start flying and that is what he wants us to do. God then says, therefore let your wings of zeal and enthusiasm be strong. Constantly maintain the awareness. We Brahmins are responsible for world benefit. Now that is the aim. When our aim and objective is very high, very powerful, very strong, when you have an aim which is very powerful, obviously it becomes easy to develop certain characters, certain natures and certain habits which help you to reach that level. And then you are ready to sacrifice so much in your life, right? Remember those exam days? You sacrificed a lot. So when we have the complete world in our hand in terms of not financially but in terms of responsibility, then God says laziness and carelessness will then automatically finish. You will never get tired. We generally get tired. We generally feel tired. We get careless when we don't have an aim and objective in our life. When we don't have any form of vision in our life or any target in our life per se. So God then says, those who have zeal and enthusiasm are tireless. Look at a mother. She's always working hard. Even if the child returns back from work, right from childhood to adulthood of the kid, when the child is getting back from the office, even at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, she'll get up, forget about her sleep, get up and cook or maybe warm up the food for him or even for the father or the or the family members where is that coming from what is the vision she has high hopes and high vision for the kids for the family members so similarly over here they constantly increase the zeal and enthusiasm in others with their faces and their activity that means they're always charming always happy always zealous always full of enthusiasm, always ready to do something different in their life and they're ready to face challenges, recognize the challenges, how the challenges come and put them down and they laugh at it because they understand the weakness is not their weaknesses within and when they recognize the weakness they become lighter, happier and they become more charming because they recognize things and people who don't have the experience of recognizing where the failures come from, they're always morose, they're always sad and they're tired and they're lacking enthusiasm so what kind of soul do you want to be and if you want to be somebody who's full of enthusiasm and zeal and not bogged down by your issues of the past the present and what's going to happen in the future do come and learn this beautiful yogic science at brahma kumaris which we call it as raj yoga with this om shanti